so long as like th this piece of armor between the tits is not indenting in a way that would absolutely collapse your rib cage if you got struck by anything there, then this is like, it's not feminine enough. It's not female enough, even though this is perfectly suitable armor that would protect a woman and deflect blows off of her breastplate in the way that it is designed to do. <laughs> Even the armor design is very feminine. It is very like, feminine. Have... Like, look at the swooping shapes here. Like, okay, so here's the thing that you all need to know about fashion and makeup and stuff like that. It is all to do with creating illusions of shapes. And so you'll, like, for example, like, her shoulders look pretty broad because there's this, like, cloth hanging in front of this shoulder here. Like, having the separation between this piece of armor and this piece of armor with this, um, chain mail and this leather here, like, that creates the impression that her shoulders are even wider, which makes her look strong. The deep V-shape here, a deep V-shape on a chest, emphasizes the shape of what's happening on the- so, like, hold on, I'm gonna move the microphone a little bit. So, like, a deep V increases the shape of, like, impression that there's a large thing here. There's a deep V shape. So Come on, stop moving away from me. Um, so this deep V shape, and along with this curving line on the inside here, all of this, this is implying her waist and her hips. The hip, the armor clearly is, like, resting above her hip here. This swooping shape here provides a encouragement to the shape of the hips here. Like, this is feminine armor even so far as it is armor, because of the cut and shape of it, the types of lines that it's drawing and the way that your eye moves across the armor, this is definitely, absolutely feminine armor. Yeah. 